Hi, I'm Jay with Plastic Kitchens, etc. And today we are in a bathroom remodel that we finished in San Dimas, and I want to give you guys a tour. So let's check it out. We designed a Carrera marble countertop with a square sink. We paired it with a, a Moen faucet in chrome. This is an eight inch spread. For the edge profile, we went with an OG bullnose, which looks very elegant. For the cabinetry, we went with a white painted cabinet. Uh, this is a raised panel a cabinet door. In this situation, we went with pulls for the doors and knobs for the drawers. It's a reverse of what's, of what's typical, but I think it, it looks really cool and works in the space. For the backsplash, we went with a mosaic. This is also in a Carrera. It's a two by two hexagon mosaic, and we tiled the entire back wall. You don't have to tile the whole back wall. You can just tile inside the mirror area about four inches, uh, then, then set the mirror on some kind of a backer, like a, like a plywood or a backer board, and you know screw that to the wall, and then you could adhere the mirror to that. Over the sink, we went with a, a down light, uh, you know, I, I feel it's really important to have down light and forward facing light. So we have the wall sconces here, which have a really great design feature, and then also provide some forward facing light, and then also some down light from the ceiling. Here's the switch and plug array that we have in this, in this master bathroom. Now space is tight in this bathroom, and space might be tight in your house as well. So things to consider are three gang boxes, which you know means that there's three different things in one panel. Um, and then having two switches on, on a, in a single gang box. So that's, that's pretty nice because then you don't have to add that extra switch here. You have two uh, switches in one location. For the shower, we match the backsplash of the vanity with this same Carrera 2x2 hexagon mosaic. Now there are new cool features to the tile, like if you can see that this tile is actually a beveled tile. And uh, for this design, we did a one third wall uh, that's one third of the top wall of the mosaic, and then below that is all this beveled um, subway tile. This is a 4 by 12 beveled subway tile, and then we paired it with the same Moen uh, faucet in the same series, in the same color, chrome. So you can have a transfer valve on the shower arm, or you can have a, a built-in uh, transfer valve, like this one's built into the wall. Definitely a, a higher end installation is the type built into the wall. In this shower we have a uh, shower head and a hand shower and uh, this is on a slide bar and so you can slide it up and it also angles out I think I've showed you all that before this is a a um, the mixer valve right here so this is a posi temp valve that means that as you turn it on this way it uh, it makes the water hot you know the farther you turn it and it also increases the pressure the transfer valve is built in the wall like I said so when you turn this it changes it from the shower head to the hand shower over here we have a soap niche and this is a dual bay soap niche. We have a 16 inch uh, height for our top niche and then a four inch, uh, actually a three inch for the lower one. We did a, a marble um, divider. Something else to consider when you have a, if you want to go with a beveled subway tile, you shouldn't have the plumbing fixtures pointed at uh, any door. Well, plumbing fixtures really shouldn't be pointed at any door period. but especially in the case of a beveled subway tile uh, or a beveled tile in general. Everywhere that the bevel, you know, touches the next tile, it's going to create a little tiny gap, if you can see here. So that every time, every time there's a joint, there is a little tiny, there's a little tiny gap. Um, so in this case, we have the shower going behind us here to this fixed panel. So we don't have that problem. Shower door for this one, this is a, a tight space. So we, um, we clip the corner of the shower. So this is called a neo angle. Um, that's where you have the door here. And then you have this 45 degree angle panel here. And then you have the other panel going back. We only knocked off about eight inches, but it adds, a, it feels like it adds a lot to the space because you don't have that hard corner sticking out in the middle of the room. The shower floor matches the top one third of the shower and the vanity backsplash. On this, for the seat, we use the same countertop. So what's nice is uh, you're gonna have, if you have a small vanity countertop, you're gonna have some extra pieces left over from the slab. So we made one of those pieces out of 
made the seat out of one of those pieces. Um, the dam is also capped with the Carrera marble and then the face of the dam is the beveled subway as well. For the floor, we went with a 6 by 16 a tile. This is a matte finish porcelain tile for this pattern. This is a really cool pattern and it was uh, professionally designed uh, by a designer friend of mine. Uh, she designed the 6 by 16 uh, cut to size and then set in a herringbone pattern. For this bathroom, we designed a fabric looking 12 by 24 porcelain tile. Now, this is commercially rated porcelain tile, so it's gonna last a long time. So we have a hand shower in here and a shower head. So in a, in a tub, in a guest bathroom like this, a lot of times I'm just designing just a hand shower. Uh, but in this case, we went with a hand shower and a shower head, and this has the type of transfer valve that I like. So these are the ones that are, like I said, are going to save you some money. Um, they just turn like that to switch, you know, one uh, fixture to another. Um, and what's nice is that they don't un unswitch when you turn off the water. If you switch it to here, it's always on here. You switch it to the next position, it's always on that position. We have a curved curtain rod here. Another important feature that I like with tubs is a curved curtain rod. When you close the curtain, it's gonna give you more elbow room um, and shoulder room inside the shower. We have a window up here that we tiled inside. Something to think about when you are uh, tiling your shower. I would always recommend tiling the inside of the window instead of leaving a drywall. Um, you know, you're gonna end up putting products on here and it's just a lot nicer to tile it in. For the trim, we went with the same uh, material as the surface of the shower. This is just a bullnose piece, uh, but you need some kind of a trim if you are floating your shower. And I would definitely recommend to have floated showers. It's gonna last a lot longer than a shower made with some kind of a backer board. The thing with a floated shower is it does increase the size of the walls. And so you have to trim that out to cover the, the float. So in this case, we use the bullnose piece. Tubs come in all shapes and sizes. The main parameter you wanna look at for your tub is the height. I design a lot of 19 and a half uh, tubs. A 19 and a half tub is, is really gonna be good for soaking, uh, you know, if you really take baths. And a shorter tub like this one is a 15 inch tub. This is a nice size tub to, to make it easier to get over the lip, you know? So if you're concerned about stepping over a larger lip, then get a shorter tub. If you wanna take, if you take a lot of baths, then I would, get, I would recommend the taller tub. For the floor, we went with the, the same linen tile. Now, this Arizona tile in the same series has this varied pattern. It's a 20 by 20 tile um, with this varied pattern on it. One of these colors is like the wall. I believe it's this, this color here is like the wall. Actually, I think it's this tile that's, uh, that the back wall is, is made of. And then it mixes the other colors in the series. So you can pretty much match it or you can coordinate it with any of the tiles in the series. So this, this material is a, is a linen quartz and it has kind of a crushed up look to it. The apron is the same as the master, the OG bullnose. And again, we went with a eight inch spread. This is the um, Moen Eva um, in chrome as well, square sink. And then we did a simple four inch quartz backsplash. For the cabinet, we did an offset sink cabinet. Uh, the offset gives you the option for three drawers. Uh, if you did a center sink cabinet, then normally this first drawer is eliminated and you have two drawers. So we went with an offset sink. This finish is a seagrass finish. This is actually a stained alder. And then same thing, we did the um, pulls on the doors and knobs on the drawers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.
up. For the edge profile, we went with a OG bullnose edge profile. Say that again. For the edge profile, we went with an OG bullnose edge profile. Oh my God, I just said it twice. Now, you don't have to tile the back wall. You don't have to. Mm. You now I can see no lights. Oh, that would have been. Mm -hmm. Now I can see the lights. It's time for our first installment of Guess What's in That Drawer. All right, I'm going to say it's uh, a hair dryer. No, it's makeup. Okay. <laughs> and we're rolling. And we actually did a, um, this is a transfer valve, which is cool. So, you know, some transfer valves you see on the, on the shower arm, you know, especially, you know, the pull kind, I'm gonna have a video where I show you the pull kind, cause those ones really, those ones suck. And we shouldn't use those ones. I should, okay. Uh, th those, those ones aren't very, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those ones suck balls. No, um, those ones, those ones aren't, aren't any, yeah, the ones with the plunger action. Okay. Let me start the whole thing over. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, we'll cut it out of the video. Um, that's pretty good, right? Oh, something else to consider. Um, oh, wait, wait, one more. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now I'm done. I think so. Are we, are we positive? I'm pretty sure. Hang on, one more. All right, one more. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh wait, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Meant to look like uh, Calicutta marble, which is very close to the Carrera marble look. No, it's not. This is look like Carrera. Um, yeah, I think it's that color. I think it's actually the one closer to you. It's this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that over? Yeah. Okay. So the floor tile uh, has has the, all the different colors of the series. I believe the wall tile is this color here. And, and then it has the other colors in the series in the tile. And uh, so you can pair it with any of the Okay, I'm saying it like a million times. Just use the other one. It's fine. Okay. I point at the wrong one. Okay. okay. Who right. cares? <laughs>